Hi, everybody. Before we get to another great interview, we could really use your help. IMDB, which is the entertainment database, recently named the Two Opinionated Podcast one of its top 100 podcasts. This is a monumental feat for this program. You know, we're a father and son team out of a small town in West Virginia, have been doing this for about five years. There's 15 million podcasts out there. About 40,000 of those get to the point that they're listed on IMDb. Out of those 40,000 out of the 15 million, we are ranked number 82. Something that we're just immensely proud of. We're so thankful for our listeners, our watchers, our fans. Thank you so, so much. If you would like to help us out and we're asking for it, please. Um, it's easy. It's real, it, it's really easy. It's free. If you go to IMDB, that's IMDB.com, look up two opinionated podcasts and just take a look at the page. That's all you have to do. I mean, you're welcome to look at the cast, look at the episodes so you can kind of see who's been on the program. Do whatever you want, but even just bringing up the page, imdb.com, Two Opinionated Podcast, bring up the page, look at it. That helps us so much. So please, if you can do anything, we would really appreciate that. Um, our YouTube channel is MeisterCon Pod. Love to have your subscription there. It's also free. And you can also check out our website, MeisterCon.com, where you'll find almost 700 episodes, audio and video, available on there. There's also a terrific blog from Brett, and it'll let you know anything that we have going on in studio, if we're covering a convention, if we're going on location, anything that we have going on will be on the website, MeisterCon.com. Thank you guys so, so much. We appreciate you so much much. I, I can't express enough how appreciative we are of all of you. We never, never expected to, to do as well as, as we have, and that's all because of you. Thank you so much. Enjoy that interview. Bye, everybody. Hi, everybody. Welcome to another edition of Two Opinionated. I'm so excited today. I've got actress Paula Andrea Placido with me, or Placido. Which one is it? Placido, Placido, Placido. Placido. Yeah. You got it. Well, welcome, Paula. Thank you. You know, I'm such a fan of yours. Uh, my wife and I love it every time you show up on a show. And with um, Apples Never Fall, we we watched, and that's a great cast, but we watched because we saw you were on it. We're like, oh, we got we to gotta watch that. And it was oh, good. that's nice. Thank it was you. so good. <laughs> that's awesome yeah it was pretty good yet uh, uh i felt for your your character i was like they we need another episode go back i want to yeah know. <laughs> i felt so bad for her too uh, yeah I, I i genuinely do feel really bad for her i think it it was just an awful situation but honestly he didn't do anything wrong <laughs> You know, it's so funny because there's so many contradicting opinions on that. It's either no. like you think you think she is equally at fault because it's a thing called like emotional cheating. Yeah. I mean, there was um, some of that. I shouldn't say she didn't do anything wrong. She did that. Yeah. She tried to she tried to fix it. She she explained it. She apologized for it. That should not have messed things up. Yeah. She was she was honest about it. That's right. Yeah. Right. And there was that that was a tough relationship. <laughs> there was some baggage coming from the other side. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. Which which you know, um I do genuinely think that she's better off. They're better off. Well, they probably separate. weren't the best fit just because of the circumstances. Correct. Correct. But I still felt bad. I was like, yeah. Oh. That's why I was asking at the end of it. We we you know we love the whole uh, series, but at the end of it, I was like, "But what happened to Gina?" <laughs> <laughs> You're so sweet. <laughs> they they really wrapped it up perfectly, and I I was left wondering where is uh, Savannah? Like, right? Yeah. yeah. So 
I don't know. I feel like something else is going to happen. Like, well, I wonder. She's not done. Yeah, there's. You could do a season two if you wanted. I mean, it wouldn't. It'd be after the book, but the. There was enough dangling that you could do one if you wanted to. Definitely. Definitely. Have Savannah come back in part two. Yeah. Yeah. Savannah, she was interesting. She's causing yeah. a lot of drama. <laughs> Man, that first episode, I watched it, and <laughs> it was kind of one of those things where I forgot that I read it, and I know exactly what's happening. Right. But I was screaming at the TV, you're going to let her in? Where are the ring cams? Don't you have a ring cam? Stranger danger. Like, didn't it? Like, well, you were you were involved in it, but just watching it, that first episode, we were all kind of like that. It's like, what do you? Don't let her stay with you. (laughs) You know, it's like maybe put her up in a hotel if you're wanting to help her. Yeah, I don't know know about that. Bringing somebody in off the street like that's kind of scary. And then I was also like, hey, you know, Stan, this is Stan's house, too. If he's uncomfortable with this young lady staying here, you should also respect your yeah. husband's wishes. Stan was a little bit misunderstood, I think. Yeah. He, he got a lot I mean, of shape. He, he, he caused a lot of the problems from, from the way he was earlier in his life. But at, the, at that particular moment, I think he got he got a lot of the blame, and I don't know that all of it was his. Right, yeah. I, I agree. I, I agree. felt, but I also think he he um, well, you know, it's it's TV and it's drama and it's writing, but um, yeah, I think he um, he was portrayed in a way where it, it was coming off shady and like it really was. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Which which Sam Neill is so great at those characters. I think he was brilliant in this. I and it's and then you know when we were shooting this, I I started watching Peaky Blinders, and I remember telling him Peaky like, up. "You're you're a bad guy. <laughs> you're a very bad guy." And then seeing him, he's actually like he's just a sweetheart. He's such a nice person. So I love I love watching somebody be completely awful on TV and then get to know them in real life and they're just the complete Best. opposite. Yeah. 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 That whole cast was pretty, pretty amazing. I mean, it was, it was uh I mean it's hard to say perfect casting, but it was really good casting. Yes. Yeah, I agree. I um when I first got it and I started to see all the names popping up of who who was playing who, first I saw Annette and, and Sam, and I was like... Yeah, those like, two by themselves, you're just like, oh. <laughs> yeah, The Kids Are All Right is one of my favorite movies. So as soon as I got to, to talk to Annette, I was like, hey, look, I, I'll kill myself if I can't tell you this, but... You have one of my favorite lines on in a movie ever. And what is it? It's when Mark Ruffalo's character in The Kids Are All Right, he tries to tell Annette that um some parenting advice. And she looks at him and, and she says, I I need your opinion, like I need a dick in my ass. <laughs> but the way she said it was so it burned me. I was like, oh. If I was Mark, I would just, you know, zip up my jacket, put my helmet up, get on the motorcycle and go off. Yeah, well, his just, expression uh, just in character was was pretty great. <laughs> he's he's phenomenal too. I just watched Poor Things and I was just Oh, like, we did too. He's amazing in that. He's so good. Yeah. Yeah. Amazing. I'm a, a friends with a, an actress that used to live next to him and she was raising her kids and he would come over and help babysit when they were younger. Um, this was back before he was real big. He was still starting out as an actor. So much younger, but I always enjoyed that, that story. Cause just thinking, you know, if it were me and I was a young kid and Mark Ruffalo is babysitting you at the time, you're, you'd just be thinking it's just some guy. And then at some point, you know that kid's going to be old enough to be like at an Avengers movie or something. He's going to be oh, like, "Oh yeah, yeah." The Hulk used to babysit me. <laughs> That's insane, right? And 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 he, it, I I think it's so fascinating because it took him a long time to break in. He did. 
Yeah. Yeah. I was listening to him on, um, I don't, I think it might've been the smart list podcast and he was talking about how he was a bartender at Bar Marmont and like he would ride his motorcycle to, to auditions cause it was really cheap to fix and really cheap gas. And, <laughs> um, Even yeah, I just, I, I found, I found his story really fascinating. Yeah. He just seems like a good guy. You know, he just yeah. seems like a good dude. Yeah, I always enjoyed the, always enjoyed him. Oh, I think I'm losing you. Yeah, did we freeze up? Okay, so we froze up just a little, but now we're back. And better than ever. Yeah. We think. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> I can hear you. That's a start. Yeah. <laughs> well, you just froze it and you're like, Am I moving at all? Yes, yes, yes. A little bit. A little bit. It's coming back, hopefully. Yes. So, so Paula, let's, let me back us up. You know, tell me a little bit about what got you into acting. You know, it's a difficult profession. Why do you want to go into it? Um, you know, uh, ever since I was a little kid, I, I, I loved movies. I remember the first movie that my dad got me was on VHS, and it was the Star Wars trilogy and that's good parenting uh, yeah yeah that and uh titanic but oh. i couldn't watch titanic because it actually scared me uh, that's how little i was the water coming in it, it terrified it me scary. Yeah. i loved love star wars and um and yeah i just i i always wanted to to perform and i wanted to be a singer and then i realized i can't really sing <laughs> So, um, that and happens then to I, a lot of us. Yeah. yeah. We, our singing dream end early. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Um, and then there was a kid in the neighborhood who I thought was really cool. His name was Alberto. And just super cool kid. He was probably like five years old. Maybe, no, maybe like three or four years older than us. Yeah. And, he he was in middle school and he was at a, a performing art school and my mom didn't want me going to the neighborhood uh, middle school so roberto or alberto was like i am in the drama department at bach msoa and you should audition and i thought about it and i and i ended up auditioning for it didn't get in um, I ended up getting accepted for art, for visual arts. And then I just took a, a bunch of electives and made drama like my my minor. And uh, and then, yeah, I just, I, I guess it started at an early age and I went to, to school for it. And then when I was in high school, I had no idea what the hell I was going <laughs> to do. I was like, uh, I had no idea, no idea. And... Then the Twilight movies came out. Oh yeah, and I I think People I fell forget. in love with those. They were such a phenomenon when they first came out. The lines, like you'd seen those lines, oh, yeah. before, but it was always you know it was guys. We never it was seen that with women before, and yeah, yeah. I mean, like Harry Potter had to have been like the closest thing, or you know, like you said, guys, like like if it, oh man, like. I remember going to the movie theaters to see um, Star Wars when when they did the the prequels. Well, the prequels, yeah, yeah. My brother, I think I was, I don't know, I was too young to be out that late. So my brother yeah. took me out to the movie theater, and I'll never forget it. The theater was packed, and as soon as the the credits start rolling in, and you hear that anthem, and you see the Star Wars the entire theater exploded and it was just like this chilling feeling and just everybody's like you thought you were at a concert yeah pretty and great. i just remember i miss i miss that so much i miss having those like big theater experiences like opening night opening weekend everybody's just excited so yeah. well there's something I, to be said about watching something with a group of people and you're you're all loving it just as much you know, I mean, yeah. it makes it that much better. And Star it's Wars, so cool. you know, I remember going to see the original, you know, uh, uh, New Hope in like 77. 
you know, at the theater. And it was like, a, it was just, nobody would ever seen anything like that before. And it was just so big, you know, and yeah. just, it, just the, the crowd as a little kid, you know, you get caught up in the emotions of the audience and I was hooked, you know, so I've been, a yeah. fan of it sticks with you. It it's, does. It's awesome. Although I will say I went to see uh, Rocky three with my, my father and the, when, when he beats, uh, you know, Mr. T's character, the crowd went kind of nuts. It was pretty great. Yeah. Oh yeah. I, I always bet. remember that reaction. Cause it was just over the top. You know, they were so excited when they, when he won, I was like, Oh, I mean, it is a Rocky movie, you know, Chances yeah, are he's yeah. going to win. He didn't win in the first movie. I know, but most of the time he's going to win. <laughs> Apollo Creed was the first one. Yep. Yeah, he then, loses that one. Well, and then Apollo's the second one too, but it, but he wins, and then he fights uh, Mister T and uh, where, which is the one with the Russian? That's the fourth one. Oh my God! Okay, yeah, one. yeah, yeah, and that's the one Apollo dies in. Okay, that's okay. Uh, Dolph Lundgren is the Russian. Yes, and he's so I, good. He's so good. If he dies, he dies. Is that is that that's is that it in that movie? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. All right. That's the one. Yeah. Well, and he's. Like it always cracks me up. He's like a, he's like a really smart guy. Like, like mm -hmm. he could be a scientist if he wasn't an actor. And that just cracks me up because he always plays, you know, kind of the brute. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty good. Yeah. Talk pretty. about playing something and being completely different in, in real life. I love it. Right. Did I see that you were on Fear Factor? I was. <laughs> yeah. Were you a contestant? Yeah. Was it a celebrity yeah. fear factor or were you just a contestant? No, I was just a contestant. It was um How did that when they come? rebooted, dude, man, crazy things that you do. And then you're like, how did I get myself into this situation? <laughs> um I probably saw that. I watched that when it came back out. I probably saw you on there. Oh yeah. I um I think we were we it was in the first season of the of the reboot with Ludacris. And my childhood best friend was visiting me for a few months like just trying to see if he wanted to move to LA and this is like my childhood best friend from like when I was six years old first yeah. friend I ever made and he was on like some sort of casting website and there were, and he saw Fear Factor and I think he got nostalgic and was like <laughs> they're looking for best friends so he submitted us and then one day he's like hey so uh I did this thing and I put your name in it and they think we're interesting and they want to meet with us. And I was like, what is it? He's like, fear factor. And I was like, oh no, man, no, 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 no. Like, I'm not doing this. That's funny. <laughs> I was like, I and don't yet want to you eat. are. Yeah. I was like, I don't want to eat anything. I don't want to, I don't want to be underwater. Like I, I was terrified and yeah. And, uh, you know, I saw how excited he was about it and I didn't want to, let him down so we did it it was painful it was so painful what was the hardest um, thing you had to do on there um okay, the first the first challenge we had i i laid in the just happened So, okay, so we lost it for a second, but now we're back <laughs> in a new location, secret yes. location. We we can't tell you where it's at. <laughs> <laughs> Somewhere with better Wi-Fi connection, that's for sure. So I think the the last question I asked was, you know, what was the the worst thing you had to do on Fear Factor? Um, it was the first uh, challenge, which was I had to lay in a in like a plastic see-through coffin oh, that's the and worst yeah yeah it was um it the the worst part about it is that they they put a bunch of mealworms they dumped like a trash can full of mealworms on top of me and then uh snakes and scorpions and i'm just laying in there waiting for my friend to get the combination to get me out of there and during the time the, the sort of palm during that though i'd have been a mess uh just focus on your breathing um but it was really painful like 
you think the scorpions and the snakes would have been, the snakes honestly i was i was okay with them like they were very big snakes i i kind of mentally prepared and i said there's no way they're going to put me in this with some violent venomous yeah, snakes. Not, you're not going to get bit by a snake and i'm sure there's a medic over there like we'll figure it out but the mealworms were eating me they were like chewing on my back when i um when i finally got out of there uh, i took a photo of my back and it was just like bumps everywhere and like blood there was like blood on my back not even kidding Seriously. it was just yeah yeah oh i wouldn't know um, that, that would have creeped me out I, I would not have liked that it, it was but i i think i would still prefer that over having to eat something like a cockroach or something yeah, I I, i'm with you there yeah but yeah I mean, if, if that's the alternative <laughs> i mean look um I honestly I also think my my friend got the worst of it because he, he was putting his hands um in these boxes to try to get the combination and the snakes that were in his box were these tiny little vicious ones like Ooh. so they they were like snapping at him as soon as his hand would enter and he he pulled through um yeah, never doing that again in my life no 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 what, fifty thousand dollars is not worth what, it trust what me. were you what were you wearing while you're covered in mealworms I mean did you have stuff protecting you or not no you're wearing shorts and a tank top that's what i thought yeah 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 yeah, yeah that's terrible <laughs> oh man i was screaming i was just like get me out of here it's never doing that again no no that's <laughs> uh, uh. <laughs> i never that's the word hey you know what it was an experience that's right. I mean, now, yeah. now it's over. Now you just be like, well, yeah, that was nothing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, 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 no. I don't think I've ever seen an episode of that show, older one or the newer one, that I thought, oh, I got to get on that show. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, no. Nope. Well, you know, when I was a kid, I thought it was cool. And I was like, oh, my God, I would love to do that. But, but then you actually get there and you're like, <laughs> Yeah, why? So did you yeah. win? Nah, we we got we we got eliminated the second round. Oh my gosh! Yeah, was that the yeah. was it like a challenge round? Yeah, and it was so dumb. It was so silly. Um, it was uh, there was like mouse traps, and we had to like grab the cheese from the mouse traps blindfolded, and I made the mistake of being the one to use my voice to guide my partner when I think I should have been the one. I, I I think I have a much higher pain tolerance than my friend. I would have just slapped all Power of the through. and said, all right, let's, let's just get these mousetraps, snap them all at once. The pain will be like for three seconds and then, then I can grab, grab all the cheese. cheese. Yeah. 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 We weren't, I wasn't thinking. Yeah. I was, I was just scared. You know, you do weird things when you're scared. Well, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I always, I, I'm a, a Survivor fan, and I know I could never be on the show because I'm, I'm afraid of too many things. It's like, yeah. I, don't, I don't like bugs. I don't like rats. I don't like heights. I'm not a great swimmer. You know, I've got a gluten allergy. Uh, you know, I'm like, I'd be the worst survivor ever. <laughs> well, yeah, I think the swimming for sure. But uh, what kind of gluten would you be eating? Well, do they, they give you yeah. bread? Well, they probably do. I mean, because okay. they eat all those, um, the rice would be fine. I could do, eat that, but it, but like the challenges has to be bread there. Okay. They're probably doing pizza and burgers and like tacos. I could probably do like a a corn taco. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my corn. god! If you had a celiac attack, that would be awful. Let, let me tell you, I uh, I went to Vegas for New Year's. And got cross contaminated, and I was sick the entire month of January. It was awful. I haven't been that sick in you know decades. It was awful. Oh, it okay. So it's like it, it's like a it's like real serious. Oh, it's bad. Yeah, it's bad. Okay. That's what I say. I'd be the worst because yeah. Even if I just got a little bit, I'd immediately get the dumb head because it just makes <laughs> you know foggy. <laughs> so <laughs> it'd be hilarious. Like I'd be a oh, no. guy, but I wouldn't last very long. Yeah. Which yeah. I always say, well, how bad would it be to be the first one out? Because then you get to go to the the you know the resort and just hang out for a month while you're waiting. What? Everybody, yeah, they send you to the resort because they, you know, everybody goes home at the end of the 
month. Okay. So they isolate yeah. you. You know, as you get kicked out, you're just hanging out in the resort till everybody else is done. That's such a hack. That's get a free thing. vacation. Just eliminate yeah. yourself. I'm like a like, month at a resort. You know, you're yeah. not allowed to communicate with anybody. I'm like, mm. <laughs> not, not, not too bad. I'm really excited about Survivor when all you really want is to be the first one off. <laughs> <laughs> is it still going on? Yeah. Oh, wow. Okay. It's been like 50 seasons. I mean, you know, they do two a year. So whatever. That okay. Is. 20, yeah. I, I know it's like been going on forever or something. Yeah. Hmm. You should do I'll it. do it if if you do it. You let me know. Nah. I'll go out there. Mm -mm. I'll be like, mm -mm. yeah, she's she hangs out with scorpions and snakes. She's fine. we were we were my mom was watching Naked and Afraid. Oh yeah, no, thank you. <laughs> I was like, look, this girl was eating like a frog, and I was like, no, nah, pass. Yeah, what would I make you want to do that? I'm like, just I don't know. You get hungry, hungry enough, I guess. I mean. Well, I'm just talking Take, about the show. Who would want to do that show? Oh. Hmm. What's the prize? I don't know. It's probably it's probably cash, but I don't know how much. I doubt okay. it's what Survivor is giving out. It's probably not important. Yeah. I bet you it's something like 50000 or hundred. Okay, 50000 not worth it, especially in California. I don't think so either. So you half of that. The whole 50 no, half of it goes to California. Yeah, because it's get, like yeah, maybe twenty five, maybe thirty out of fifty. And but. then, and then, and then you got to split it with your partner. And I'm like, wait, twenty five hundred or uh, twelve twelve thousand? Yeah, is that worth it? Yeah. Uh, I don't know. Oh. I guess maybe, but no, I don't know. But hmm. now, if you want to put me in a resort for a month, okay. Yeah. 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 I think I'm I'd rather have that than twelve thousand dollars. Twelve thousand dollars, man. As, I don't know. Maybe, maybe in the East Coast it goes a little bit further, but here well, in does. California, West Virginia, twelve thousand dollars go quite a ways. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, even in Florida, same, same. But here in California, it's just like no, it wouldn't. Insane. Help it wouldn't help you a bit. That's a that's a what that's maybe so you get, that's like three three months rent maybe. That's so funny. That's so sad. I don't know how anybody lives out there. We love LA. It's so expensive. Yeah. Although Miami yeah. wasn't cheap. No, no. But the further up Florida you go, it's a little reasonable. Yeah yeah. 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 It's just. It's not. Cool. Yeah. I saw you. Uh, you were a guard on Star Trek Picard. Yeah. That was uh, one of uh, my first. Um, I think it was right after Shameless, and yeah, I yeah Shameless, yeah, we loved you on there. They were so secretive about it, like about Picard. Uh, yeah, like they sent me the 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 sides, and they were like going to explode if I tried to like print them or anything. Well, so and I decided, thank like, you, if you were like one of the main cast. What are they doing with them? <laughs> I mean, yeah, yeah. But if you got it like early on, if you got to be on a show, that's a pretty good one to a book yeah yeah um i remember man my dad passed away but i wish he was still around because this trek man fan? this man would be watching star trek on tv and like i never really like got into it i was more You're a star, a star wars, wars person <laughs> but my dad would just be watching and him and he would watch that in a lot of westerns oh yeah watching well, westerns star trek kind of like a, it's like a space western a lot of times yeah yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he loved planting his wood. Oh yeah. Yeah. Did he have like like do you know his favorite Clint Eastwood Western? Mm, I do not. No, but I did ask him what his favorite movie was and he said Casablanca. Well, I got that one out of him. Yeah. That's a pretty good choice. I like that one a lot. Do you do you have a favorite? Is it Casablanca? A favorite movie? Oh man, it's so hard um oh you know what city of god oh you know is I, not in my top three talk about that that's a great movie it's insane it's so good so detailed and it's long but it's like it's entertaining and it, it and it goes deep you know people might not talk about it because you gotta you gotta read it it's a, all subtitles but 
I, I, I love foreign films. I've been watching um, Shogun, uh, which is great on, uh, on mm-hmm. Hulu. It's a remake, but it's it's probably two thirds subtitles with that. And I'm like, oh well, yeah, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's great. Uh, it takes place, you know, in in uh, feudal Japan, so it's mostly in Japanese, uh, and it's terrific. But I'm like, most people would miss most of that because you know they're scrolling on their phone instead of yeah. You know. No, when it when 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 you got when it's like something foreign, I always like put my phone down because I'm to. like got to pay attention. Because you'll be lost when, after like five minutes. Yeah, you know, if you want to scroll on your phone, watch something like Friends or or How I Met Your Mother, like a sitcom where it's just like what easy I do. to yeah. yeah. I like yeah. having the uh, sitcoms that I've already seen just playing in the background. That's when I'm playing on my phone because then you don't really do pay too. attention. But it's still funny if you want to look up and watch for a minute. Yeah. There you go. Definitely. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we saw you on uh, Hacks. You like you like Hacks? I love Hacks. Dude, that show is so funny. So funny. Yeah. And that's another one that I have to turn my phone off because I don't want to miss a joke. They're well, so clever. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it's very clever and sometimes they come very fast. You got to pay attention. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, there should be Love a new season show. coming out pretty soon, right? Yeah. I think I think next month. I'm excited. I can't wait. That's yeah. Cool. It's one of my favorite shows. Yeah, yeah. Ours too. You know, we watched it just uh just to try it when it first came out and immediately it became one of our favorites. So funny. Oh you know, the the first episode when they first meet at the house and she <laughs> She says something so to her. She, she, yeah, but um, Hannah um says something to her about, oh, I'm sorry that you know I touched your couch where you did poppers with Liberace. Like, it's just the whole the whole monologue just hit hit hit. They're like, and and the thing is, they they come they come up with a lot of that on the spot too. Like, really, like when I when I worked on that set. We had, we had our first lines, then we had our alt lines, and once we got those two down, then they would get on this microphone, and there would be a speaker in the room, and then they're like, "Hey, Paula, it's God here. Can you try saying this?" And like, I they, the stuff that they would come up with is just ridiculous, and I know it's just like on the spot, and <laughs> it was it, yeah, they're just so they're geniuses. They're like so good at comedy. Yeah, well, you know, comedy is kind of like music because it it's got a rhythm to it. Yeah, and you if you get the rhythm off, it's not funny. Yeah, yeah, one hundred. They've got the rhythm Agreed. down. It's funny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. We we absolutely love uh, love that show, and of course, uh, the L word, and I, and you were on the uh, the newer one, which was like uh, Generation Q. Was that right? Right. Yeah. 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 We yeah. we were. Uh, uh, L World uh, Word was one I watched. Uh, it, it's been it, I, it's hard to believe it's been that long since it came out. But so when yeah. my wife and I first got together, we started watching together. So then when the new one came out, she was dragging me to watch it instead of the other way around. <laughs> but it's really that good. Um, it's really good. That... You were uh, Roxy. Yes, and yes. you had at least a few episodes on there. Yeah, um, I think there was two, two or three. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, I I was that's one of those things like um I watched that when I was in um when I was in school and because uh you might you got me? I got you. <laughs> yeah. Um yeah, because you know, like uh, I didn't want to I didn't want to get caught watching it. So I used to just watch it like at eleven o'clock at night. Um <laughs> Well, yeah, people are trying, like like when I was younger and would try to sneak something, I was having to watch it and it was all you know squiggly lines. So you're trying to to watch it and it's going like this, you know, because it's not you don't actually have the channel. But back in the day, they uh, didn't completely block it out; it was just blurry. So you yo, could kind of watch something. Whoa, you literally just brought me back. <laughs> I know exactly what you're talking about. Yeah. Um. I remember being at my friend's house. I probably was like, I don't know, seven or seven years old or something. And there was like channels that were like blocked, but you would be able to get like some sort of 
Yeah. Like every three seconds you'd see like an image or something like that. Right. Like, and you're just like, oh, I think I saw something there. <laughs> you're freaking hilarious. That is so funny. I totally forgot about that, but you're so right. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Because it I mean, it's been when did L Word come out? It, it was like early 2000s, right? It's been it's been a while. Uh yeah, yeah. Def I think it was, yeah, early 2000s. Um I remember the house that I lived in at that time. Um, but it was really cool to like, to, to, I remember that when it got rebooted, I remember being like, I didn't have an agent at, the, at that time. And I was just like, what am I doing? I need to like be on the show. And then somewhere before, like a few months before I even got the audition, I was just like kind of manifesting. Like at some point I, I like, it just feels like, um, like a badge you know what I mean? Like a, a like a, a badge to add to the collection and like to be able to be on a show that or with the same brand that I grew up watching. Yeah. It's it, it has significance. And um I like it like I wanna be able to look back twenty years from now and be like, that I can't believe I got the opportunity to be on that show. Like yeah. It same thing, same thing with um with 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 Picard like just to be have even if even though like Picard was like just a few seconds just to be able to like you know be stamped into that world and kind of like live there forever cool. yeah yeah it's yeah cool. it means a lot now we just need yeah. to get you on you know a Star Wars project dude yes I I think Star Wars universe would be a dream i also would love i would kill to be on like some sort of mad max um part of the mad max series i know they're coming out with furiosa i'll say they got no i'm one. like i got no one coming out but i'm already trying to plant seeds out there i was gonna say like, hey. you got you got that uh, badass female role so maybe she has a bunch of friends yeah yeah <laughs> she's bringing like, with her i hope that this movie does really well and that they can do a second one I it's loved funny. I loved uh, Fury Road. It was really good. Action packed. Yeah, it was so really good. good. And that's not easy yeah. to do when you're kind of rebooting. Mm -hmm. to, to recapture the magic, not always easy to do, but it was really good. Yeah. Yeah, and you know, um the the originals were so big. But you know, Charlie's the wrong. Like that's I not know. And then she shaved her head. She was so badass. She was, that's actually one of the reasons why I shaved my head because I thought she was so cool with the with the bald head and not a terrible Natalie look. Port. You can do this. Not bad. Easy. Or if you were too. making a choice, I was like, I'm. I was giving up. <laughs> <laughs> as soon as it started to go back, I'm like, nope. <laughs> <Cut it off. laughs> yeah. No. I kind of miss the uh, '80s hair though. Like the big blowouts. Oh yeah, I had it like feathered back. I used to have like this brush. It was almost like a horse brush. You slip your hand into it, and then you just yeah. Oh my god, why is it oh, giving it, Joe dirt? It was yeah. <laughs> well, I didn't have the mullet. It was just yeah. bushy on the. It's kind of like uh, if you ever watched um, W. Farrah Fawcett. Oh, Farrah Fawcett. That's not a bad. That's not a bad comp. But I was going to yeah. say Andy on WKRP, kind of like that, or uh, Sean Cassidy in Hardy Boys. If it, I'm probably dating myself because those are like uh, '70s shows. Okay, but yeah, I'm gonna say I'm gonna one you. of my one of my best friends' mom. She lives in Oklahoma, and she's still she's still oh, she still got the style it. She still got it. She still got I, it. I, I admire people that are doing. Uh -huh. that. Because most of us have moved on, but there's some that they're like, this is my hairstyle. I'm keeping it till I die. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And the bigger, the better. It's just, yeah. Yeah. I know. I, I remember uh, going on dates and there was so much hairspray. You know, oh, yeah. The boy and the girl. And it was just, you know, you get in a car is it with uh, maybe <laughs> another couple, and you'd be coughing because there's just so much hairspray in you. Don't light a match. Don't light a match. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shoot. Um, are you 
or do you have a role in Borderlands? Yes. How did um, that come about? That's crazy. Yeah. Um, it's, uh, I, well, I think they had the movie done and then they did some reshoots. Yeah. So there's a scene where I can't, I don't know if I, I what I can Probably say, but <laughs> no, but I got invited to be a part of um, something in the beginning and I get to, I got to work with Kay Blanchett. I, I got to meet her and, you know, just be in the same room, yeah. be in the same room with, yeah, that, honestly, that's why I really want to do it. I was just like, cause they sent it to me and I was like, well, one of, first of all, like, look, I'm not like I'm not a big actor where like uh I can't take this because this is gonna this is like too small for me no like for me it's about like get me anywhere anywhere that there's like cool people working on the project even if it's just like a one day I don't care like I want to work and and meet as many people as possible so my agent sent it to me and was like okay so it's not a big thing but you know you you get to work with Kate Blanchett and I was like so, I'd be sold. <laughs> done. Done. And the casting director, I I like her a lot. She yeah. she brings me in a lot. And I, I was just I was just like, anything that she wants me to read for, I'll read for it. Anything. Yeah. Um so uh and then I got to meet Tim Miller who um he helped with the reshoots and he was the director of Deadpool, which oh, one yeah. of my favorite yeah. um superhero movies. That and Thor Ragnarok. Those are my two. Well, that was I mean, so funny. I mean, of course you got Endgame, but for me, like Ragnarok is just hilarious. It is. Yeah. And uh, Deadpool, I just like um, just Ryan Reynolds. His humor is just so quick, and I well, they, and I love that it was R rated. He captured the character. Like yeah. I don't know that anybody else could have played Deadpool now that Ryan Reynolds has played him. No. It's so the same thing, like you know, looking at Wolverine, like you can't unsee Hugh Jackman. That's right. You know, <laughs> yeah, um, those are big shoes to fill. And uh, Hulk, you had three. Well, technically, you had four, but Mark Ruffalo is just he's so right. he's 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 got you know the 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 rage, but then he's got the 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 tenderness and 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 embarrassment and humiliation of what his other half does yeah like, he's kind of self-deprecating with uh yeah with the hulk I, I like that he he makes a good uh uh banner you know his, yeah the altar yeah. he's so good with that but yeah he kind of brings it to uh to the hulk's character too you get a little bit of his personality okay it's, it's, he's good he's fantastic i think we yeah. need to get you a, a role opposite of mark ruffalo <laughs> yes i'd love we it we keep bringing him up so yeah we need to make it happen. They're still yes. making Thor movies. Oh, yeah, they are. They are. Wait, he's not in Thor. Well, well, he was in the one. I was thinking he could come back. Yeah. 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 Uh, I For think it, Natalie, Natalie Portman like, took it over, right? Ooh. Because well, I think, I think yeah, uh, yeah. Chris She's Hemsworth might Thor. be done. She's the new yeah. So maybe it is done. Maybe that last one was. No, I don't think so. I think there's a five coming out. I think okay. I thought there was a five, but I have no idea if it's her or if it's uh, Hemsworth. I, I don't know. Or both. I love her. She's, yeah. Do you, but, for Vendetta. Do you love her as an actress or do you love her because you got to see her in Star Wars when you were young? Oh, man. Okay, yes. Okay. All right. Yeah. Yeah. She was like the perfect Padme for me. Like, yeah. I remember when Revenge of the Sith came out, I went, I maybe, I don't know, I was like maybe 15 I went to the movie theater five times to watch this movie. I I was like so like I loved them together like Anakin Skywalker, um, Hayden Christensen. They were and, good together. I I I just thought they were so beautiful, and I just wanted to watch it every time. And then I even went out and I bought the book, and I was like, "Why am I buying this book?" Like just so I can have like a few more moments. I was gonna say, was the book different from the movie? Um, no, I think the book, I think the book, it was probably an adaption, right? It was, I think the book was, well, I, I, I don't know. I'm sure the book was Long. written just to give you a little bit more detail about yeah, it. Sure. 
yeah like for marketing purposes I don't, I don't know i could be wrong but i i wanted a little bit more and went and bought the book yeah. um I, I, but, no no stones for me i'm a star wars fan I, i've read many of the books <laughs> the professional um v for vendetta like oh v for I, vendetta. Mm. she's just like i love i love uh, so many of her movies she's people just, forget she's been doing this for a long time yeah she was a yeah. really good child actor yeah 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 her, her and uh an underrated movie that's a great movie which one the professional yeah yeah yeah, yeah i've loved her i think in just about everything she's been in yeah have you seen um annihilation yes yeah, yes during that it was it was weird it was very but good. I but I but I but I liked her and Oscar Isaac was in it too, right? Yeah. I forget yeah. that he was in it, but yeah, he was in it. Yeah. He was I, I was watching um Drive Ooh. the other day and then I was, was he like, in that? Yeah. He was like the, the evil boyfriend. I was like Yeah. No I was like, no, I I don't he, remember that at all. That was a really good movie too. I like that movie a lot. That is a good movie. It's really good. Yeah. Movie. Yeah, that, I, I like going back. Like like I was telling you, I, I like uh, having sitcoms playing in the background. So I've been running through all the, the big sitcoms. And I, I enjoy seeing the guest stars that show up on there that I had just forgotten wherever on the show. Yeah. It's kind of neat going back. Like, like Friends, if you go back, I mean, like every big star from Hollywood was on Friends at some point. Yeah. <laughs> you know, yeah. There's a lot of big guest stars on that show. I um I when I was doing apples um we did like a little um we did like a a a, a cast movie night every Sunday. Yeah. Sam Neill was like, "We're gonna do the Annette Benning Film Festival," so we were like going through her movies, and I remember we watched American Beauty, mm -hmm. and uh, what's I forget? I was watching the movie and I was like, "Hey, wait, that's the dude from Harold and Kumar." forgot about it um but i have forgot that this is a piggyback off of what you're saying it's like i love watching watching tv shows or movies and then seeing like the the little the guest star or like the one liner and being like oh my god they're yeah, from like such and such now early like in their career when they're just making yeah. like just yeah a line or two is all they're saying yeah. that I, that's a great yeah it's it's nice it's nice because it's just like you yeah you you forget that they were in it and yeah it's a it's a nice surprise nice surprise know. i do that all the time there'll be actors i i love and then i'll watch a show that i've already seen and just never realized that that was them just at, at an early part in their career just never clicked. yeah like we re we rewatched um the old fraser getting ready for the new fraser Mm -hmm. Just going back and seeing all the people that guest starred on that show that ended up, you know, they were famous at the time, but maybe became even more famous as, you know, as, as their careers went on. It's kind of neat, you know, just yeah. never remembered any of that because it'd been 30 years since I'd watched it. What came first, Frasier or Cheers? Cheers, Cheers was first. Okay. And I should have said that. I, I first watched Cheers, then Frasier, okay. then the new Frasier. You know, I had to okay. prepare but yeah cheers, yeah, cheers was like 12 seasons and then Frasier was 11. Oh, Kelsey Grimper has been playing that character forever. <laughs> All right, wait, hold on. I got another question. Um, Seinfeld. Oh, yeah. When did, was that before? Seinfeld was or around the same time. Years, but about the same time as Frasier. Okay. Like they used to be on this, they used to be on Thursday night together. So they were out okay. at the same time. They may not have started the exact same year, but it was right around, they were out at the same time. Okay. And then okay. when they were ending, when Seinfeld and um, Frazier was ending, Friends was starting. Okay. Yeah. yeah. It's all kind of uh, similar. Yeah. Similar vibes. I miss the sitcom. I, I think they've been kind friends. of dying off. Yeah, I miss it too. Yeah, we don't get as many of the big uh, sitcoms. Of course, we've had a bunch of the really big ones have ended in the last five or ten years. You know, we've Big Bang and some of those have 
went away, but oh, uh, um, what's the Modern Family? Yeah, that was another was one. That that, ended. that that was technically sitcom, I right? Sitcom, yeah, yeah. That was an amazing show. I love that one a lot. Me too. And that's a yeah. that's a fun one to see the guest stars on. Yeah, I I I'll have that playing, and then I'll also have friends playing a lot. My my partner likes the office so she always has oh, the office great. playing in the background yeah yeah i've went through all of them like right now i'm finishing um brooklyn 99 i got a couple more of those and then i'm starting mash mash is gonna be my next one so i'm moving through them okay the mash is old school that's like 70s yeah there's still reruns of that oh yeah it's still out there it's still good it's still good yeah. I mean, some of it doesn't hold up you know it's been 50 years some of the jokes probably wouldn't be told today. You know which one I, I I I tune in and I I think the exact same thing. I'm like, ooh, I don't know if that yeah. would fly today. Yeah, oh, it um, wouldn't. It wouldn't. Golden Girls. Golden Girls is a great show. Yeah. Yeah. My son Brett that does the podcast with me, he loves Golden Girls. Like he still yeah. puts them on and just watches. Yeah, I love them. Um, R.I.P. to all of them. Aren't you surprised they haven't redone that yet? There's no need. I don't think so either, but at no. some point. And also, did did you see the, um, there was a comparison that Sex in the City, the cast now, and the, the reboot, is the same age as the Golden Girls when they were on TV. Yeah, that's hilarious. What? Yeah. Yeah, it, it wouldn't be the same. No. No, that's funny though. Yeah, you just yeah. don't think that. No, um, I, 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 I like the show so much because it captures what Florida looked like for me when I first moved there. Yeah, because um, my, uh, my, my parents were older, so they lived in a retirement like. Were they community. in like, uh, Fort Myers or somewhere in that area? No, West Palm Beach. Oh, West Palm Beach. Okay. But my mom had a lot of friends that lived in this um this like Jewish community, and I used to go over to her friends' places, and all of her they all looked like the Golden Girls. So, it just it, it's nostalgic for me. That's awesome. Yeah, that's awesome, and that's how, like, when I think of Florida, that's kind of where I'm getting most of my imagery from is the golden girls golden girls yeah. yeah and i know it doesn't look like that now but that's still nah. what you go with as yeah it's definitely a lot different now it's more like miami vice yeah <laughs> but um but yeah i love Talk it about so. your uh bad fashion we all <laughs> loved it at the time but not great <laughs> yeah i have worn a, a few miami vice type of outfits in my life i'll admit that yeah yeah i mean um i've worn i've worn some stuff too yeah and then and then now they're all coming back too i know i like in the 80s i wore parachute pants all the time yeah all the yeah. time and now they're coming back and i was like why would yeah. anybody bring those back they were terrible i yeah i i i try to put them on and then i just feel i feel like an imposter <laughs> Yeah, I'm like right. we wore this growing up, but now as an adult, I'm just like, no, I no, can't wear this. Yeah, no. I had like no. a different collar for every day of the week. I wore those things out, but yeah. that's what everybody was yeah. wearing back then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They don't look the same now. They had a lot of pockets though. Mm -hmm. You carry a lot of stuff in them. They had those pockets that were even. They even had pockets on the shins. You know, like way okay. down low, you know? Like, yeah, yeah. I was like, okay. A little shin pocket. I don't know what you put in that one, but. Everything. Yeah. Everything and anything. Well, back in, in in my day, a lot of people put their cigarettes in that pocket. Yeah. You know, I didn't smoke, so I didn't have cigarettes. But I remember a lot of people, that's where they carry their lighter and their cigarettes in that pocket. It wasn't a cell phone then. No, not then. No, they had the big ones like this. Yeah. The ones you had to strap on a backpack and then take the phone out. Yeah. <laughs> well, Paula, thank you for taking a little bit of time. I know we've been all over the place, but I love that. That's No, I had such a good time. Best. This is a great conversation.
Yes. And and we even survived freezing up. Yeah. Because we're pros. Yes. We're professionals. We know how. Yeah. To it's yeah. all good. You restart. <laughs> so a couple of things before, uh, before I let you go. Um, anything else that you're working on that we can keep an eye out for? Yes. Um, this week, I think in a couple, maybe in like uh, two days on Friday, uh, Sugar comes out. It's on oh. Apple TV. Yeah, yeah. I wanted to ask you about that because, in my opinion, Apple doesn't know how to make a bad program. Everything I've watched on Apple's been good. So yes, yes what, uh, what's uh, what's Sugar about? What what's your role in it? Uh, Sugar is a detective. It's like a detective noir. Um, it looks a few, good. yeah, yeah. Um, and you know, I think it, it follows Colin Farrell's character Sugar, and he's uh, like this nerdy movie buff who's a private detective and he's got to find a missing person and um and it and it shoots in LA so you, you got LA in the backdrop it's beautiful oh, yeah. um I think the story is really good it's interesting you you don't know what's going on who did what yeah. so it's interesting because it really it you really start like pointing fingers is and it, that's fine because you're trying to figure out who did it is it one case through the whole season yeah oh yeah I like yeah that. it's one girl and we got to find her and i help him do some detective work um uh -huh. i'm excited about it i think it's gonna be really good i love i love apple apple tv as well like their production is just amazing yeah, it's amazing quality if, if someone sure. told you that colin farrell like if in real life was a, a detective wouldn't you believe it yeah that seems like a role that he could do or yeah, yeah. That he could do. I mean, this what this what can he not do? He's not so talented. Yeah, and you know, um, it's funny because one of my favorite movies growing up, we had the DVD cases, and my brother just bought so many DVDs, and I used to just watch whatever he had, and one of them was a uh, phone booth. Oh, phone booth. Yeah, That's I'm good. like, dude, like this. Yeah, this movie, like was so cool for me when I was a kid growing up and yeah then getting to work with him is just like yeah stupid I know you've worked yeah. with like some legends I'm I, I feel like Thanos just collecting my 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 infinity stones where like I get to meet this person work with them and um yeah I don't know sometimes it feels like it's not real but no it's it's pretty great plus you know, fear factor. Yeah. Basically, you could retire now. You've done it all. Yeah. There's nothing yeah. left. <laughs> yeah. There's a, there's a few, a little, a little more, a little more. Once, once but... you, once you, you are covered in mealworms, what else is there? <laughs> um, we'll we'll talk again once I get Star Wars. Then I can we be get, like, I'm gonna make some done. calls. We got to make that happen. There's yeah. Too many movies and shows. There's no reason we can't get you on one of them. Yeah, Mandalorian. Come on, Pedro. What's? Oh yeah, I think you could. You'd be a good bounty hunter. We need to get you as a bounty hunter. Yeah, I'm trying. We're gonna. Although, you know, if you could get a lightsaber, that'd be pretty cool. Well, all right. Look, I can't. I don't, don't want to get greedy here, but yes, I used to have a green lightsaber at home. So Ooh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Why? Why couldn't we have? I mean, we kind of had that uh, with Ahsoka. You had the, you know, kind of the disgraced Jedi that was yes. a bounty hunter. That You could totally do that role. Yeah. Rosario Dawson's amazing, too. Ooh, yeah. I like her a lot. Yeah. Yeah. We'll see. We'll see. Maybe we'll a year from now, call. we'll have a different conversation. That's right. It's, yes. Yeah. And all I ask, you know, if I could just be the first person you tell, that'd be great. Okay. Once you get the role, if you just send me a note, be like, I got it. You don't even have to tell me what it is. I'll, I'll like, oh, she got it. she got Star Wars. I got something. I got something. That you, yeah. Yeah. You'll know. <laughs> so, we'll okay. Talk. Last we'll talk. thing before I let you go. Um, yeah. Where can we find you on social media? Okay. Um, I have an Instagram. It's PP Placido. Um, I do my little hiatuses from it all the time so like uh i try to post and i try to be as like on it as possible but oh. 
That's yeah, it's it's a it's you scary. Get you, a person. you gotta get you a person to do that for you. Yeah. <laughs> well, when when we get Star Wars. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. You could hire a person. Yeah, we'll do it then. Yeah. Not Social there yet. Social media, like, if you do it right, it takes a lot of time. Yeah, yeah, 100%. And that's, I think, part of the reason why I stay off of it, because there's so many other things I want to do with my time. I got a lot of reading to do. It's and... a time suck, that's for sure. Yeah. 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 If you're on Instagram. That's If you're going to be on one, that's the one. Yeah. Just post your, you know, pretty pictures and what you're eating, and we're all good. All right, I you cook know, maybe, a lot, so I might, I might, might do that once in a while. You know, a what? A, a set picture once in a while. Okay. You yeah. Know, just let us know what you're doing, and and then of course, you know, what you're eating, because we have to know that. Yeah. Yeah, of course. <laughs> when, I got you. When I post my pictures of the fancy Mexican place, I'll tag you in that, because then you'll okay. Know. Yeah. I'll send you a message because I am going to... You're going to find I'm it. Gonna, I know you will. I'm going to put my little detective hat on. I'm going to find you know, it. I, I, like Hilton, I Miami, remember. Mexican. Yeah, I couldn't remember the name of it when we went. I just knew I wanted to eat there. But then we found it because it was across the street, and I still don't remember the name of it. Okay. I'll, I'll, I'll find it. I'll let you know. Yeah. I know it was like you could sit outside along the water. And it wasn't the ocean, so it was like the back, the backwater. I mean, like uh, the intercoastal. It was like yeah, yeah. So there was like uh, behind the restaurant, there was a marina. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Okay, so that should help. Let me find out. <laughs> yeah, uh, Paula, this has been the best. You have to come back. I hope we get to do this again. We will. We will for sure. Yeah, I had a good time. Yeah, it's been this has been terrific. I was so happy when you said yes to coming on, um, and that was before we had watched Apples. After we watched oh, Apples, okay. we like, oh, I'm so happy she's coming on the show. Ah, <laughs> uh, cool, man. I love that. Okay, Thanks. hold on one second. Paula Andrea Placido, um, just terrific, and a, and a fabulous actor. Uh, I'm sure you've uh, uh, seen them on a lot of a lot of stuff. Um, good in everything that um, that they're in. Uh, absolutely love love her. I think I talked about most of the ones I, I wanted to. Uh, she had an appearance on All Rise. I, I thought was really good. And never have I ever she played uh, Ava in one of the episodes. Um, really like that one as well. If you haven't checked out Apples never fall it's a limited series on peacock right now and worth your time uh, we talked about some of the uh the casting on there it's loaded you know just go check it out you'll recognize everybody in it it's it's so well acted the dialogue's uh, uh terrific the uh script is really good the scenery the um uh, just the uh, uh cinematography all of it really, really well done. Apples never fall uh, on Peacock, so definitely check that out. Uh, Paula played Gina on there, really, uh, really good. Oh, the shrink next door. She was also had a little little role in that. Really good. Um, if you're finding us for the first time, thank you. So happy that uh, you're here. Definitely don't take that for granted. Um, love to have your support. A couple of easy ways to do it. They're free. If you prefer to watch our YouTube channel is MeisterCon Pod. Please subscribe. Really helps us out. It's free. Um, our website is MeisterCon.com. Right now we've got 755 episodes, audio and video, available on the website. It'll also let you know if we're doing anything in studio, if we're going on location, covering a convention, anything we have going on will be on the website, MeisterCon.com. So please check us out there. Uh, IMDB recently named us a top 100 podcast. So if you'd like to see our IMDB page, maybe to check out all the terrific guests that we've had on the show, go to IMDB.com, look up the Two Opinionated Podcast. We'll come right up. It's free. And the traffic on our page helps us out. So thank you very much for doing that. Appreciate you guys. Until next time. Bye, everybody.
Hi, everybody. I'm once again here to ask for your support. It's been a big year for the Two Opinionated Podcast. Back in February, we got to live out a dream, moderate for William Shatner here in our hometown. In May, we passed 100,000 downloads on our YouTube channel, and we followed that up in June with 50,000 downloads on the audio side. We recently posted our 600th episode, which is pretty good volume for just a uh, father and son operation. You know, not too many podcasts can keep that volume up. We've been doing this now for four and a half years, 600 plus episodes. We recently hit 1,000 subscribers on our YouTube channel, which is a really big deal for us because we've always gotten the views, but have struggled to get people to subscribe. So that thousand was a big deal for us. And best of all, we were recently named one of the top podcasts on IMDB, which is the entertainment database. You know, those that are ahead of us, we came in at number 82. Those that are ahead of us are bigger companies like Disney, mostly Marvel, and Joe Rogan, that type of uh, podcast. So for us, being just a, a small West Virginia father and son podcast, to be in the top 100 out of 15 million. It's a pretty big deal for us. So thank you for everything you've done for us so far. Got a couple little ways though that you can help us and they're free and they're really easy. If you haven't checked out our YouTube channel yet, please go to YouTube. It's under MeisterCon Pod. Just hit subscribe. It's free, doesn't cost you anything. Really helps us a ton. And maybe even more important, if you could go to IMDB, imdb.com, look up the Two Opinionated Podcast, and just look around the page. Just having that traffic on the page really helps us out. So that's a couple easy ways that you can support us, even if you're not listening or watching all of the time. And we want you to listen and watch, because I think that our... Our guest list, I would put up against anybody, any other show, podcast, anybody out there. I think our guest list holds up. So please check us out. You you probably will find somebody that you like or maybe somebody that you didn't know you liked but kind of discovered them on there. There's tons of that. If you're into music, we have that too. If you like books, we've got authors on there if you if you're more into what goes on behind the scenes in the entertainment world you know we've got producers directors um video artists anything you can think of that happens behind the scenes we've had them on the show so definitely check us out thank you guys so so much until next time hi everybody <laughs>